What do we got today? We got ourselves Team Strength over here. What Team Red? We'll see you, Red. We got Durex Bind. It's an outro. He's basically a warrior. We got Catcher Cat over here. We got Rakia. We don't see Rakia play this often. And we got Record gonna be going up first as a Frost Death Knight versus who is it gonna be? UKL, Demon Hunter versus Death Knight, Arthas versus Illidank. Sun coming into Rekir off the bat. He's gonna go for that Lichborn off the opener. AMS coming down as Metamorphs coming in for UKL. UK is gonna be able to get a lot of healing with that Leech as he gets himself. I've been rolling with Demon Demonic. Actually, not quite the most amount of healing you could have gotten, but a fair amount of healing. Tricking out pretty early, and Wrecker. I keep swapping to the wrong guy. I'm sorry. Wrecker is gonna go for the Matic right now, dropping down the Dark Pact against UKL. Is that the play right here? Is that what he's gonna do? He's gonna go try to first aid, but probably should have first aided then. Dark packed it. He just gotta wait until he that maledicted or necrotic health is back. The health is back. He could heal if he wants to. That's gonna be stunned by UK into a massive I-beam. Drop and wreck yourself, slice it through it, try to get a dragon's breath in there. But that's gonna be rooting for you. Might need it for a death strike and down he goes. UKL force out of the breath. And take advantage of the fact that UK that Director just has no resources to even get a death strike in there. Nothing you can do at that point. Seerath is going to be up next. Looking really blue. Looking more like a death that the Ricker did. And it's going to force a duel with UKL. We're going to introduce the group on the other side. It's going to be Minzer, Maeve Monk, Hari, Harim Haram, Harim Haram, and Corey. All right, quite a variety. UKL, they get a stunned up. Seerath is going to go for big damage right now. Try to see if he can cleave right through UKL. UK, all he can do right now, he actually has the advantage in this duel, he just needs to make sure he lands those stones on the Sea Wrath, gets that Metamorphosis Wombo combo every time his health is low, as long as he can consistently do that, I actually decided, you know what, I'm not even going to go for that, I'm not even going to play around with the demonic I-beam Wombo combo, I'm just going to pop Metamorphosis and sink everything into Sea Wrath while I got him here, and Sea Wrath's taking quite a bit of damage right now, he is going to go for a bit of healing, he does have his Chank Trinket procking right now, He's going to get those charge heals. Going to go for the Rage Regen right now. This is the big heal that he needed right here. He's going to be able to recover a bit. UKL getting hit with a disarm. He's going to try to bail out of that situation. And Sierra doesn't have the charge needed in order to catch up. UKL waited out the disarm for as long as he could. He's back in action. Trying to get an I-beam again. Prolonging his metamorphosis. Does get interrupted on it. It's going to drop darkness down. Sierra needs to walk him way out of that thing. He's going to get a charge heal. Continue to sustain himself as best as possible. UKL South, though, is not really looking that good. Stun to Sierra right now. Is that going to be a lot of damage for UKL, though? Because Sierra go for counter stun right now. And UKL does get stunned up with a storm bolt. Trick gets out of it while Blur is up and running. What's the main max damage of the Blur? Trying to stay as offensive as he can. Why he's got a big defensive rolling? Is going to get another demonic rolling. Sierra is going to take quite a bit of damage. But UKL South is actually looking pretty bad. Could be an execute rage. Sierra is trying to see if he can clear right through it. Is that going to be execute right now? In prison for a second. Does he have the Zerka's rage? He does not. And UKL does get to get away scot free. If Sierra has a stun for UK, this might be over. Stun to Sierra instead. UK, does he get the I beam? He does not stun it to UKL. Gets a charge in there. Try to see if he can get an execute. Does land the execute. And UKL goes down. Sierra literally sucks up his soul. And this man might actually be a death knight IRL. He has a trade that sucks up people's souls when they die. Next up is going to be Maya Monk. Maya Monk is. My F man, cause yeah, Fist of Fury coming down. Sierra's actually gonna get a fear onto the Fist of Fury, stopping the parry. And Mayav does have cooldowns rolling. Walk coming out for Mayav right now. Sierra has, has massive cooldowns rolling. Gonna be rolling Dragon Punch. Sierra's trying to see if he can walk away from him for a second. Getting stunned up by the monk. Does have the tank trigger to proc for health. But my monk is still doing quite a bit of damage though. I think Sierra just got souls from the images. Does he? When the images dissipate. They don't actually die, they just dissipate. Stun to Mayhem Monk is actually bailing out before the Karma hits. Let's go for Touch of Death on the Seer. There's gonna be a lot of damage if Mayhem can turn around this Karma damage. There's a big Touch of Death damage on him. He couldn't maybe end him right now. Touch of Death is gonna take. So as I was dropping down really low, is gonna go for a little bit of a heal right now. The disarming Mayhem Monk is, doesn't have Fist of Fury while he disarmed. The sound is getting lower and lower. Sierra's out. Not looking that good. The Fist of Fury locking him out. Actually, does get to walk out of it for a second. And down he goes. He actually gets obliterated by this monkey. If he only stayed away from him for a second, got a charge. He only might have been able to survive it. But he walked right into the Fist of Fury and got hit by Yeet Mike Hall. He literally got yeeted on. My monk is barely surviving that one. 
And our boy Kachka needs to clean up the mess. Circling his spray. I think he's letting my Ev heal up. I think he's letting my Ev heal up. And my Ev is like, my Ev has no idea what's going on. He's just running around like a chicken without a head. All right, one more vivify. Nope, not even gonna happen. I was gonna say one more vivify. And my Ev will have it. Kachika is gonna have to find a way to deal with a monk. That's gonna be Fist of Furies, Tiger's Lust, big stuns, lots of damage, Karma, big touch of death to deal with as well. So Kachika just need to make sure he's on top of things. Every time Fist of Fury comes in, Kachika needs to have a play. Every time my Ev moves, he has to have a play. He just needs to have a contingency plan for everything. He's basically needs to be like apocalypse ready. No matter what the apocalypse is, whether it's meteors, whether it's lava, whether it's explosions. He does also have a move for everything. Yeah, it's actually Maev really close to the execute. Is that going to be Karma on Maev? The barely has Karma up. I actually had one. He could have used Karma so soon if he just survived for a little bit longer. But Kachka was able to clap him out fairly quickly. That's going to land the first aid. Harim Haram, the running out on our most... Probably the most disgusting goddamn looking mount. It's a spider that flies. Like, who the hell designed that a blizzard? Actually going to land the cheeky, cheeky, cheeky reflect in the opener. Putting dots into Haram. That's how I am. He's going to get a stun into Kachikan, but all he can do with that stun is just get dots, get a mind bender rolling. Finally able to get quite a bit of damage, though, as he has Void Eruption rolling. Going to get a Siphon up. That's actually going to get interrupted on his cast while Greater Fate was on him. So for Harim Haram, this might be a bad situation. That's going to sound to Kachikan, and that's going to be a small ward stump by Cat. Trying to see if he can just disrupt Harim Haram just a little bit. Getting close into that execute. Might have to pop Disperse a little bit early. That's going to be Disperse. Is Kachikan, is he just going to stay on Harim? He's taking quite a bit of damage, actually, from a Shadow Priest. Does land a charge. Doesn't stop Harim, but it does give Kachikan a bit of a bloodthirst. That's all he's looking for. Harim goes for the Vampiric Embrace as it's his last Bastion of Glory. Fear coming out to disrupt him some more. And Kachikan is gonna get a reflect rolling. Does get a stun into Harim. Harim stunned himself, and Kachikan use it to finish off the Shadow Priest. Next up is gonna be Mince. And Mince playing that. Oh, Celerenity. He's just gonna go for the big one shot, isn't he? The big all in damage. He's not gonna go for the images, just all in. But Kachikan, that's gonna be a lot easier to deal with. Now that's all his cooldowns out. That's a lot of Fist of Furious back to back. And Kachika's looking pretty healthy for the most of it. Doesn't even get an interrupt into Mins as he's trying to get the cheap burst in there. Karma coming out a little bit early. And Mins is trying to stay offensive with a touch of death. That's another car that's another monk. He just puts down karma. Touch of death onto cat. And Kachika goes for a double leap just to stay away from Mins. He's just trying to bail out. He's gonna get a charge heal as soon as that's over. He just needs to be aware of the next Fist of Fury. As Mins is gonna pop a defensive Fist of Fury coming down. The cancels off Fist of Fury to just be executed by Kachika himself. If he just didn't cancel the few, he might have been able to survive. And Corey is going to be the last man standing. Last boy standing. Last undead boy standing. I think Gatchika is just going to get a couple of heals from the pet. That's exactly what he's going to do. Is Gatchika just going to kill his pet? Is Gatchika just getting in there? Is this a real duel or is he just trying to heal? I think we're just trying to heal. These boys are going to give each other the full honor. Though. I was like Gatchika was just like, just chopping up the pet right now, dude. He's just going to obliterate the pet while he's got it. Corey's gonna drop down the trap immediately on top of Kachikan. And Kat needs to connect with Corey. Corey's still having the RP walk. That might be. Maybe he might want to disable that ASAP so he can actually get some mobility, unless he's just messing. Check it out. Kachikan has reflect roll in case Corey does get a freezing trap rolling. And Corey's just gonna go for big damage right now. It's gonna get a bunch of grenades rolling. Does have cooldowns rolling. And Kat is actually gonna burn his big defensive and rage regen. Try to see if he can heal off of the pet. And unless he's trying to get a charge off of the pet, he is gonna get intercepted by a freezing trap. Corey is gonna be able to snag a little bit of healing. Kachikan back to hitting the pet as soon as he can. He doesn't care about Corey. He does not care about Corey. He cares about that pet. He's looking at Corey, seeing, can I charge to Corey? Can I redirect my damage into Corey? Kills Ka Corey's pet right now. Corey might need to go for a little bit of a heal. Revive pet coming down. It's going to get a trouble. But Kachikan might be able to get a freezing trap now. It's got as he burned his freeze, uh, his uh, reflect a little bit early. Oh, that's going to be Blaze Storm. Blaze Storm stopping all kinds of reflects, all kinds of traps. And Corey, does he have anything? Fear, chickens out of him immediately. It's going to land a freezing trap onto Cat with a revive pet to follow. Actually does snag the freezing trap. That's Kachika could try desperately to avoid it with reflect with Blaze Storm. Corey just held held onto the freezing trap as best as he could. That's what a lot of these hunters do. Well, they hold onto the freezing trap, and especially against Cat. They're just like, okay, I'm wait for him to use all his abilities. So in a sense, if Kachika just doesn't Blaze Storm, just doesn't use reflect, they will never drop down the trap until it's like actually critical. 
It's like a biggest mind game ever. Corey's pet just goes down super quick. He's not going to have a defensive out of it. Akachika is just trying to abuse his ad as much as he can. It's going to get a reflect rolling again. It's going to interrupt Corey off of that pet reflect. He's going to even blaze him. Maybe even execute him right now. Good blaze him just to be safe. And that's going to be a trick out of cat. That's still going to be a turtle shell for Corey. Needs to get a pet while turtle shell is up. It's going to snag one. But is that going to be enough? Is he going to be able to do anything from here? I think Akachika just has him on a rope. Stun the cat. No chicken available. Corey's gonna bail out of there. No, actually gonna harpoon right on top of Cat. And Kachika is just gonna hit already into the pet. Trying to turn attention to Corey. He's gonna try to lead back and forth. I think he's trying to avoid any kind of traps. And does land an execute in there. Kachika got to come in clean the house, boys. If Kachika doesn't come in, boys, you know he fucked up. <laughs> you know he fucked up. Corey played that one really well, though, my man. Corey played that one really fucking well. Hell yeah.